Got one of them. Got him. Dude, you think these fish want the jerk bait? Oh my gosh, unbelievable. Oh, that's a giant too. That's my biggest smallmouth ever. What is good boys? It is B-Mail here from BDR Victor Bass. And how are you guys doing today? Today we are out on a brand new lake that I discovered on this Northwoods trip. However, I think it holds my PB. I'm making a solo send out here this morning and I'm gonna see if I can grind it out. Catch myself a big old slaunch donkey pig smallmouth. I have not broken the five pound mark. Yes, I know that is quite embarrassing. I don't come up here all that often, so I don't feel too bad about it, but but man, I just want to hook myself a five pounder. So we're gonna see if we can get it done. Got a little bit of wind moving, so I think we can get a lot of different bites going at the moment. And I am pumped up. I gotta put this camera down. I gotta do some fishing. Let's get after it. All right, here we go. Get to fishing. So guys, starting at this point that we actually fished in a different video, we came to this lake for a couple hours. I already see one here. Um, came to this lake for a couple hours. It was a very fire spot, had a ton of fish on it. So I figured where else would I start other than a spot that was unbelievably loaded with fish. So here we go. Right now I am running a 3 16th ounce tungsten drop shot weight from six cents fishing as well as a six cents glitch in the smally smoke color. I've been kind of getting it done this trip, man. I can't lie. Oh, I got bit already, man. <laughs> Seen some fish cruising up here. I'm not really gonna scope them right now at the moment. I'm just gonna kind of position myself really well, keep my distance off of this point and pretty thoroughly just drag drop shot also caught him on the finesse jig so we'll definitely be giving that a college try as well also using a 7.3 medium light extra fast legend extreme from st Croix rods unbelievable finesse rod could feel a fish fart on it if you wanted to luckily i don't want to feel them fart i want to feel the meat but i could got one to eat it isn't small i don't know if it's a bass dude nice dude freaking pike Ugh. Not the species we're after, literally by any means, but like a 30 something inch pike. Look at that one. That's a sturdy ass pike. I haven't seen a big pike like this in a while, so that's cool. That's a good one. Look at that. Heck yeah. I guess I'll take it. Small mouth and a big one. Got one to eat and he's gone. Ah. <laughs> uh... Got one to eat finally. Back to back cast. I get him to eat, but I couldn't before. Like, really? Well, I couldn't get them to eat for like an hour and then back to back cast. I come up and catch one. I lose one and then I catch one. That's blasphemous. Eating it weird too is a very light eat. Give me back my glitch. Dink. Tiny bass. What is these fish's problems, dude? Oh my God, there's a mega school of bigs. There's, I'm not kidding when I say there is big freaking giant smallmouth out there. Holy cow. Those are freaking megas. Got one of them. That's a small one though. Why would I get one of the big ones? <laughs> Why would I get one of the big ones? That wouldn't make any sense. Literal dink, but there's big ones out there, I promise. All right, guys, so we're pulling up right now to a main lake point. As you guys can see, just littered with bait and the smallmouth are hanging out within the bait, chasing them around. It makes it really tough, but at the end of the day, this is the cards I'm dealt. I've caught a few, pretty difficult, but we're gonna get back up there and try out this new spot. Oh my, look at those couple, dude, big ones. The size is just not there today, unfortunately. There's big ones roaming around, like I'm seeing them, dude. Mm. That's a grown one. That's a grown one. Oh my God. That's a good one. That's my biggest smallmouth ever. That's a five pounder maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I don't know. That's a good one though. Holy cow. 
Look at how grown that one is. That's a good and look at how just dense that fish is. We're gonna get a quick weight on this guy. All right, guys. Well, my current personal best smallmouth is around four and a half pounds. I think it's like a four, four, three. This one might beat it. I might be tripping, but I think I think this sweet cheeks is gonna weigh quite a bit. I might be totally wrong. Might be right. I have no idea, honestly. No, 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 no. All right. Well, there we go, guys. Not a five pounder, but a new personal best for me. She is not absolute giant, but look at that build. That is why that fish weighs so much. It is full of bait. It is macking on bait today. Still was able to knock out my personal best smallmouth on this trip, which is awesome. Not an absolute giant, like I said, but I ain't complaining, man. Let's go. Personal best smallmouth, six cents, 2.7 divine, bluegill fire color. Match those perch. She's fat on them. Look at that. Look at the belly on her. You're a good girl. Hang on, let me grab your tail. There she goes. We are going through this pack today. 2.7 inch divine, baby. Let's go. Thick fence fishing, helping me catch my pee pee, small mouth. There's a whole freaking lot of them out here. Got them. That's a bigger one. Now I know that's a bigger one. Oh, I thought he was gonna be substantially larger than that. Ah, not two and a half pound their boss. I just realized my chesty had just stopped working too, but that's okay. Starting to turn on now, guys. We're finding them in about 30 foot of water, just flooded on bait balls. It was really, really tough this morning. I mean, I'm seeing, holy cow. I mean, I wouldn't say hundreds, but tons of smallmouth and pods of three to five, just smoking bait balls, just going through them, just gouging and matching the hatch is pretty much key right now. I've got this, a lot of the forage in these lakes tends to be perch. I'm throwing this bluegill fire pattern from Six Sense Fishing, absolute heat in the 2.7 inch divine. There we go, like a two something pounder. We'll take it, there's a bunch of them out here and I see bigger marks, so hopefully we can put some in the boat. See you later, Budward. Oh, it's a sturdy one. Felt a lot bigger, no complaints. There we go. See you later, buddy. Absolutely murked my bait though. Damn, bro, I don't have many left in this color, and this color is the deal. Hope they'll eat another color if I run out of these right now. This is looking to be my new go-to when I'm imitating perch, dude. Got him. Finally, dude. I worked hard in the school. No spot lock, dude. Spot lock. Dude, that's gotta be a small mob. as big as I thought, just like a four pounder or so. I thought it was so much bigger, guys. I'm saying it's a four pounder like that's a small fish, but I mean, very quality smallmouth right there. Upper decky with the Demiki rig, just following these fish around. Look at the freaking build on this lake, dude. I'll, I'll go three and three quarters probably. Let's go. Ooh. Mickey rig. Let's go. Oh, it's a girthy one too. Oh, that fish is big. Oh, that fish is big, big. Oh, that fish is big. Oh, that fish is not small. He's big. Eat up here. Oh, yeah. No. He is not nearly. Oh, oh my God. There's a wake boat over there. <laughs> not nearly as big as I thought. Probably just scratching the nuts of three pounds. But inhaled the Demiki rig. 
I gotta go to your spot and give this technique a go and then roll back up to here. Get a fresh, fresh cast on these guys. Well guys, it has been a super fun bite thus far, catching them offshore here in about 30 foot of water. What are we sitting in right now? Sitting in 29, 0.5 feet of water. These fish are loaded on bait. We're actually gonna head back to the original spot where I couldn't catch them earlier. See if me being a lot, lot, lot further off of these fish makes a difference as well as the few presentations that I've switched up so far. PB jumped into the boat. I'm amped up. Let's go catch another. Let's go. Oh my God, there's two like under the boat right there. Oh, I got him all the way out here. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Oh, that was so sick. He's literally wrapped in it. Oh my God. Well guys, they're still pretty active. As you can see, smoking a jerk bait while sitting in 20 foot of water, being 20 feet down, coming and flying up and smoking it. <laughs> it's so sick. Let's go. Holy cow, they come from so far to come see this thing. Now that guy is vulnerable as hell. He saw it from a big distance. He put himself in a perfect spot for me to catch him. Oh my gosh, I backlash, but he came up. So I gotta work him. Got him. Oh my gosh, he just came flying up, dude. I had to work him with the backlash. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, does it get any more fun than that? The answer is no. It really does. Holy. It literally started off so slow. I was like, damn, drove all the way out this way just to struggle on my last day. But guess what? We're having a good time. We're catching them. Oh my God, there's one right under the surface up here, bro. Oh, he saw it. You think he wants it? Oh my God. Got him. Dude, you think these fish want the jerk bait? Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Oh, that's a giant too. That's a giant. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Ah, get in, get in, get in here, get in here. No, no, get in this net. Get in this damn net. Get in this damn net. Get in this damn net. Oh my gosh. Thank you for getting the net. Good boy. Oh, I can barely lift him. I don't know why I called him a giant, but big one. Look at that, dude. Look at that, dude. All right, bud. We will see you later. Well, guys, as you can see, I am currently editing this video. It is 12 to, oh, thanks for focusing. It is 12, 10 a.m. And it is grind time right now, boys. Of course, in typical BD Bass and fashion, I had a ton of camera problems on this day. And I not only lost a bunch of fish catches, but some of my favorite ones on the day actually had no audio because these microphones, uh, they die and don't make any noises and tell you that they died and kind of my fault i'm just making excuses but yeah the microphone died and my gopro wasn't working and my favorite catch of the day aside from my pb obviously on this a rig you're seeing it right now of course this catch got no audio and i was hyped up boys i love catching fish on the a rig and of course it was a good one it is what it is i want you guys to let me know in the comments below do you guys like videos where i fish with live scope obviously this was kind of just a random day of fishing so i didn't take filming too serious yeah i've been editing this freaking thing for hours and i kind of just feel like my videos without live scope are more entertaining but maybe that's just me let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see i want to have a good variety for you guys in the channel on that note guys thank you guys for watching this far it's b mill here from bd bassin catch you guys in the next one peace